So when my ex was upset with me, he wouldn't tell me for weeks, for months, for years. <laughs> and then something very minor would happen. I would forget to text him when I was on the road and he would send me a slew of crazy text messages that are like, I know you're blowing somebody in an alley. <laughs> And it's like, I don't go down alleys. They're so dangerous. <laughs> right? Like, if I'm going to blow somebody, it's going to be in a bathroom. It's warmer. You know I'm always cold. <laughs> he's giving me first draft feelings. Does that make sense? Like, he's talked to no one, and I would never do that to him. When I was upset with him, I would hire a team of consultants. <laughs> I have a feelings focus group. All of my thoughts are monitored for quality assurance. <laughs> So when I was upset with him, I call my three best friends and I get a friend perspective. And then I talk to my roommates and I get a male perspective. And then I call my therapist and I get an educated perspective. And then I talk to a man on a bus and I get a bus perspective, okay? I take all that information, I take all that data, and then I'd approach my boyfriend. I'd be like, hey, you really upset me yesterday, and I was talking to Daryl, and he's like, who's Daryl? And I'm like, he rides the B-15, focus, baby. <laughs> he's been married four times. He knows what he's talking about. <laughs> I love Daryl, I'm gonna be his fifth wife.